Alrighty guys, uh, here is a video on something pretty neat. It is called Stealth Operator Holster Series. The original true multi-fit holster. Fits over 150 handgun models. So, this is the outside the waist version. It says, uh, Phalanx Defense System, made in the USA. So, this is the holster. This PPQ is loaded. I'm going to try to do all this one-handed, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so, I wasn't sure if this was true or not. I picked it up uh, at the gun shack by my house, um, like most stuff. Uh, the guy there, I guess, had seen this at Chacho. Um, and he ordered a bunch, but anyway, so it's just a plain thermal mold style holster. It doesn't feel like Kydex, it's definitely like a thermal mold. But the way they cut this um, makes it a little, a little different. So anyway, I got a PPQ Navy in here, and like I said, it's loaded, so I'm not going to play around with it too much. But anyway... So the retention's there, as you can tell. I'm gonna go ahead and set the PPQ down. So, um, what's kind of neat about this, like I said, is it can hold all different types of guns. So I got just a few different ones sitting here. Um, and then I got a leather holster to kind of compare it to. Um, this one is a DeSantis. Um, it's supposed to hold the 220, the Glock 17, and a couple others. But there's no real retention. It's leather. Um, these are these are good uh, when you go to the range and you're switching through a couple different guns that you want to try out. So this will hold uh, most of the guns here. It's a 226. Most all the other guns are unloaded except for the PPQ. So, but anyway, so West German 226. CZ SP01 Tactical. Again, there's no retention. Um, this is the one that I have the most problems getting holsters for is the Phantom. So, again, I can use this for inside the waist carry for most of these guns. It won't fit stuff like this uh, Glock 21. This is the one with the ambi safety uh, that they recalled um, in the pick rail. Night sights. So, it's a 45 ACP. One day I'll review this, I think, but not right now. It's never failed me, but they did recall it. If you were to send this in for repair, uh, you'd probably get a different frame back. Anyway. And then, of course, PPQ. This one's a Navy, so... So you can tell it fits all these guns. <clears throat> okay, so that's a leather holster that has no retention other than your belt. Alright, so start with uh, this 226 West German. Alright, so no rail system and it fit. Let's see if I push real hard. The retention's there. Go ahead and back it off my shoe. Alright, so it fits that. Square trigger guard. Suzy SP01 tactical. Highly modified. Okay, let me uh, push this one in. There we go. Heard it snap. Sticks out a little bit because it's a long frame but it has retention. Now here's where I always have the problem with my Kydex holsters and stuff. Um, I can't switch or use all the holsters I have for my SP-01 with the Phantom. Alright, locked in, sticks out a little bit. So. Retention with these three, 
So these are very skinny pistols. I should have brought my Glock out. A um, little 26 that snaps in here too. Full size. With the pick rail, which I never can find holsters for. Let's see if it does. Blocks right in place. Let's try their tension. Has retention. These draw really smooth from the holster. So that's crazy. So <coughs> you have a Kydex style holster, even though it's not Kydex, it's thermal mold. And it fit all these full size guns. And again, should have brought the 26 out. Um, it snaps right into. So uh, let's just kind of go over it. There is full size, compact, and then mags is what they sell. They do the inside the waistband and outside the waistband. But as you can see, I should have brought my HKP 30 out too, I guess. Um, Beretta, Sig, all the Walther, CZ, even a high point will fit in here. That is crazy. Um, so, uh, it, oh, it looks like it just doesn't hold the long slide Glocks, but I bet you it would. Um, and they're obviously Glock 42, 43. But yeah, Stealth Operator Holster Series. Just kind of holding this here so you guys want to see if yours is on there. But I actually haven't had... Uh, any problems with it? I'm extremely surprised. I mean, obviously, it's not a light bearing holster or anything, but for what this thing can do, it does the same thing, you know, as this leather holster, <coughs> but with retention. I mean, go to the range, put this on, bring an assortment, and you can actually, without having to take your belt off or do the Velcro in a double belt or any of that, and have to buy a ton of holsters. And I got this for $29.99. Um, they gave me like 10% off or something, so I think I paid just $29.99, little or, or a little under, um, for it. But that's insane. It says it fits 150 holsters or, or pistols. Uh, sorry, I'm just still waking up. So um, pretty crazy. Just. If you were to custom make all the holsters or order, um, et cetera, from each one, I mean, price is obviously going to be a lot. Um, if you got a, if you went with like a, what is it called, a, on your six holsters that they sell in San Antonio for each one of these, uh, inside the waistband, you're probably looking at about $30 a piece. Um, so, uh, that's, that's quite a bit. Um, Outside the waistband, you're going to probably pay more uh, between you know 40 and 70 per holster. 30 bucks one thermal mold holster. Now you can kind of see, um, and I mean you know the holes are there, so you can run you know Molly attachments and paracord and all the other options. Um, they did rivet these directly on to uh, these clips. Um, these clips work. They hold. Uh, I put my inch and three quarter belt in there and it fits um, and it has just a little bit of play. Um, it doesn't say uh, two inch but I'm sure you could probably get it in there. It fits fine on my inch and a half to inch and three quarter uh, first spear belts. Um, again this is uh, pretty crazy that it can accommodate all these. Um, they have different ridges. Pretty much I thought most of the lockup was on this trigger guard but there's actually a couple different points of contact inside for various guns that will lock in. Um, <clears throat> but my biggest problem, like I said, was I love CZ, so we go from a round to square. Um, that's pretty crazy. So both those trigger guards will work. SIG trigger guard's completely different than most of these um, with the angle and everything on it. Um, but putting a 45 ACP and a 9 mil. Um, I mean, look at the thickness between that and that. That's pretty crazy. I mean, 
But anyway, um, saves some money. Again, stealth operator. And it's a phalanx, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what else to say about, about it other than wow. So if you guys want to save some money, if you guys go to the range or you do any training and one of your guns go down, you don't have to bring a set of holsters or anything like that. You go grab another one and snap it in. Um, PPQ is completely different. The rounded edges and it clears these HD sights. So again, I'll put the loaded one back in. But it just locks in place. That is pretty sick. And that's with the threaded barrel, and it sits almost flush with retention. All right, well, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, that, I don't really have anything else to say other than that's, wow, 150 different pistols it can hold. This one, I can't put some of the ones in, but again, retention, that's pretty sick. All right, guys, later.